Love is in the air, literally. With Valentine's Day just around the corner, it's time to plan ahead and get your streaming playlist in order for a great night or day of romance and laughter with your boo. Of course, no list of original streaming rom-coms is complete without mentioning To All the Boys I've Loved Before, its sequel, P.S. I Love You, and of course, its third and final film, Always and Forever. By Valentine's Day, we'll finally be able to watch all three movies back-to-back and fall in love with Lara Jean and Peter Kravinsky's beautiful relationship all over again without any interruptions. We are looking at you, John Ambrose. And honestly, a marathon with Lara Jean, Peter, and a little John Ambrose sprinkled into the mix. Hey. Hi. Hi. Yes, please. And since we are on the topic of teen rom-coms, Netflix's The Half of It and The Kissing Booth totally deserve a spot on the list, too. The Half of It follows the story of Ellie Chu, who helps the school jock Paul Munsky woo popular girl Aster Flores. But the plot twist of it all, Ellie secretly wants Aster, too. And it's not your typical teen love story at all. The story is well-crafted in the way where it touches on all aspects of love, not just the romanticism of it all, the usual fighting and fawning over one love interest, but it also touches on each character characters hopes and dreams that personal kind of self-love you know okay so love triangles kind of seem to be the theme here with the last few love stories but this next one is more of a forbidden love because according to their friendship rules relatives are totally off limits in the kissing booth bffs ellen lee make a set of rules they promise to follow to protect their special friendship but it looks like some rules are meant to be broken because that relatives one we mentioned earlier well Elle kind of sort of broke that one when she falls in love with lee's big brother noah i mean honestly can we blame her we fall in love with anyone who looks like Jacob Elordi too. For all you sci-fi lovers out there, next on our list is the rom-com everyone couldn't stop talking about when it came out, Palm Springs. The Andy Samberg and Kristen Milioti rom-com is about two strangers who meet at a wedding in where else, Palm Springs, and unfortunately get stuck in a time loop. The second you fall asleep, it all just goes back to the start. Palm Springs is a great mix of ROM with a lot of calm, thanks to Andy, Kristen, and J.K. Simmons, and a bunch of quantum physics. If you are a huge fan of Issa Rae and Kumail Nanjiani, then Netflix's The Lovebirds should be right up your alley if you haven't seen it yet. If you already have, then another watch wouldn't hurt. Gibran and Leilani's relationship finds itself in a bit of a lull, but things kicked into high gear when the two accidentally witness a murder and end up going on the run away from the murderer. We have to go to the police because we have nothing to hide. Why is your run from the scene of the crime? Good question, officer. That's me covering up my body cam so I can beat your ass. And for those of you who've always wondered what if about a childhood friend or even a longtime crush from high school, Netflix's Always Be My Maybe could be a good inspiration if you're still harboring those feelings. This romantic comedy follows Sasha Tran and Marcus Kim, played by Ali Wong and Randall Park, who reconnect many years after a brief bling during their teen years ended badly. Fast forward to current day where Sasha is now this hotshot celebrity chef and is engaged to Brandon Choi, played by Daniel Day Kim, or should we say Daniel Bay Kim, and is just living the life. When she returns her hometown of San Francisco, Sasha finds herself going back to old feelings when she sees Marcus again. And then Keanu Reeves also somehow manages to get involved in the complicated but super comedic situation. I missed your beard. I missed your light. Oh. I missed your chin. I missed your soul. I missed your ass. I missed your spirit. I missed your thumbs. And speaking of complicated situations, Harper and Charlie of Netflix's Set It Up find themselves in just that when they try to set their overbearing and demanding bosses on a date to have some time to themselves. I mean, what assistant hasn't thought of this, am I right? As we all know rom-com formula by now, things go awry, relationships fall apart, and unconventional love happens. We won't tell you which is which, but it kind of makes you want to find out what happens to which character, right? When it comes to love, things aren't always guaranteed, but in Netflix's Love Guaranteed, let's just say love is guaranteed to happen in this. The movie follows a lawyer named Susan who goes undercover to investigate an online dating website called Love Guaranteed for her client Nick after he had 980 six dates through the site and found no such thing. Yes, the storyline does seem a little cheesy, but if anything, stay for the beautiful Seattle skyline and Susan's incredible winter coats. I mean, someone give her stylist a raise. And last but certainly not least, we have Falling in Love with Two Ends, which involves surprise in in. Christina Milian's character, Gabrielle Diaz, enters a contest to win an in in the New Zealand countryside and ends up spending time with the sexy Adam Demos to remodel the place. It's like an HGTV fantasy star two really hot people and it just sounds like a win to me and that is pretty much it for our list make sure you guys grab a cozy blanket and a bunch of snacks for the perfect night in get it